Hey there, Brewberries, what's up, and welcome to another episode of Guild Wars 2. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a good day. Today is going to be a productive day, I hope. I wanted to say thanks so much for just enjoying the this new series. I think it's going to be a fun one. Um, and I wanted to explain just a little bit about like what I think this is going to be all about. I personally, let's just uh, go ahead and uh, keep get going here today. I've been doing a tiny bit of work uh, on here, just playing around. I did a couple of hearts here, and I was going to record it, but then I just kind of didn't. Uh, so I kind of did this. You can kind of see my trail here. So today we're going to be focusing on getting some more of these hearts and stuff, uh, but that is perfectly fine. So this series i'm wanting to do a little bit of an ex i guess i just want to explain like why we're doing it and also kind of what the purpose of it is and uh so what we're going to be doing is just playing this game as i normally would um just kind of doing the hearts leveling up trying to get to just basically level 80. what do you want heroes Welcome to Heroes Moot, having a good time. What is this place? It's where we gather and relax and drink and regroup before heading out. Where should I go? You should visit the sacred blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that literally worthless. Why did you call me over, you jerk? Um, but basically, I don't really have a structure for these um, this uh, these episodes. I, I kind of want to just play the game and and enjoy it record for like 20 minutes and then call it a day i don't want Ooh, what's this guy got merchant observational zymology interesting okay so this just selling beer cool also pardon me i have for some reason got some uh sinus stuff going on again um and so where is this uh oh this dodge thing is over here okay um I, yeah, I have sinus stuff going on. So if I keep cutting, it's because I'm having to like clear my throat constantly and it's kind of nasty. Whoa, what is this? Ah, this must be, yep, this is the Ice Streak Brood Mother. We've got this cool little event. These things are really cool because they just appear during the day. And I, it, like, as you're playing, you can kind of just find events and stuff that go on in the world. And I think it's really cool. What did we get from that? We got a shield and a torch. Okay, but we don't have offhand use, so we can't do anything with it. So that kind of stinks. But that right there is why I actually really like this game, because it's just got a whole bunch of stuff going on in the world. There's like, you can just, where'd that dodge thing go also? Okay, so it's, it's actually this way. Okay. But that's why I like this game. It's like you run around the world and you just find things to do. Like they just pop up and let's get this uh, discovery point here because we want to explore the world fully. Ah, there we go. This is also beautiful because it gives you experience for exploring the world, which I think is just super cool. Dragon banner. Do I want to take these down? So what are we doing for this heart if we're doing it? Commune with the sacred wolves to start a pack hunt, defeat sons of Svanir, Rex Svanir camps and banners and free wolf pups. So we do want to get rid of this. I like how blood comes from the banners as if they're living. That's kind of funny. Oh, this is a wolf cage. Look at it wiggle. That's so sad. Get out of here, wolf pup. I'm sorry that you are trapped in there. But I really don't want to stress too much about making this. This series is not going to be about doing crazy, crazy cool things. Of course, I the game itself is crazy cool, so I find it interesting. But I just kind of want to explore the world and level up the character, do the hearts free or whatever this place is called of bad things and then let's uh dodge through here aha uh -huh. and see what's in this chest are we gonna get some like boots uh-huh it is i think that's pretty much the same for every single starting area so we go up in armor a bit and we go up in power which is cool and dodge back through very good but I don't want to stress too much about uh, this having to be a crazy, like doing crazy things in this. 
Um, I'm just going to play through the game and record as I go. And I think it'll be good. And hopefully it'll be entertaining for you guys. But we just need to cut up a few more of these banners. And oh, those are bad guys. Well, hold on. Let me destroy your banner. And then do this. And kill you, and you, sir, are going to be dead as well. Thank goodness. And beautiful. Wonderful. There's all sorts of banners we can just kill. <clears throat> I do feel like this guy is slower than my other character, but maybe that's because I'm just giant and lumbering. Dead. Cool. This dodge stuff. Okay. Yes, I know. I how to dodge. One thing I'm also definitely not good at. I am entirely. For any of you who have been haven't have been watching my videos, you know I play predominantly Minecraft. This is far and away my like first time really diving into an MMO. I have done. I have played Dungeons and Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter before. I have played that till level 30, and that's about it. Uh, I have never really invested in an MMO. I've never had one friends to really play with that have been interested in the same MMO. And OK, we leveled up. What did we get? Ooh, great sword. That is what I want you to full. Let's equip the great sword because I I love the great sword. So it's Pretty much the same. You inflict vulnerability, though, which is cool. This guy is basically like what you saw when I used my F1 ability uh, and the regular sword. And oh, can I? I can use swords in both hands. That's kind of fun. Oh, and we got some more pants, so they just go up in armor a little bit. OK, cool, cool. I like that. I like that. And you know, let's go test this. Uh, let's go back up here and test this great sword out. Oh, and I also I have a mount. I keep forgetting to use it. Um, the mount is pretty. Is this a spin? Whirl in a target direction. OK, so woo. Oh, that did. How much damage does that do? 45, but it does four impacts. Interesting. What is this? Destroy the dredge tower. Oh, that thing respawned real quick. Where is this dredge tower at? No idea. OK, let's uh, spin through these guys. Woo. OK, so the slash is pretty much the same. And then this is like a, a thingy. And then this is I literally just threw my sword. What? Throw your great sword at your foe so that it returns. That is amazing. So I so literally I am like a Jedi guardian, but with an actual like great sword. That's pretty hilarious. Oh, the events over here. Oh, OK. Well, that event must be done because, oh, you're an actual war. You're warriors, so you're fine. Ooh. Well, I'm confused. Didn't they destroy the tower already? Tower repair. Oh, now there's tower repair progress. Oh, this tower's actually got like um, issues. What is a dredge? Are they like weird mole peeps? Yeah, they're like mole rats almost or something. That's interesting. <clears throat> All right, let's go this way. Woo! And then. That's cool. I like Yeah, the great sword is definitely far and away my favorite right now. I mean, I know I haven't really done too much with it. But I do really like. The great swords uh, abilities here. I really need to get used to. So as I. As back to what I was saying, I, I really need to get used to this whole controlling the cameras type of thing because I'm heinous at it. Uh, I don't know how to switch between like enemies and stuff in an appropriate manner. I'm just not used to it. I know you can use tab 
but I'm just not good at it. Like I, I want to control the camera and uh, what does my F1 do? Oh, okay, so I spin. Deliver a circular attack to foes around you and gain fury. Deal more damage to foes with low health. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so I'm just really bad at controlling the camera right now. I did maybe because I'm a, a melee, it might work better, but I did learn that I can control... Oh, why is there bombs going? Bizarre. I did learn... Ah, uh, stop it. I did learn that uh, you can control your camera with this action camera. And so that's kind of interesting checkpoint. So I maybe we'll try this out because we're like entirely melee. I found for my Necromancer, it doesn't work that well because I'm I've got a lot of like range targeting, but this guy's very just directional. So maybe that'll work better. And oh, yeah, it's already a little bit better. I think it's just got I just got to get used to it, I think. And also, you see this guy, this uh, character up front, this Evalon dude, he's already a higher level than this area, but you see that green arrow? It's also another cool thing about this is like, they lower your level based on where you are, so you don't overpower the things that you're facing. So you can actually go back to really low level areas and experience it and feel like you're still a bit challenged. And I think that's really, really cool. Throw the great sword. Woo. Okay, so this action camera is going to take... If this episode is not great in terms of camera usage, I'm sorry. I'm just getting used to this this action camera because I think it's going to be better. But it's uh, very much feels strange. Yeah, these guys are like weird mole guys. Why are they enemies? Oh, this guy's not actually an enemy. He's just kind of chilling there. Curious why. Which way do we go now? I say we head left. See that tunnel there? I think it leads deeper in. Okay, left it is. All the way in. Let's go. Okay, uh, I guess we're going in here. But the, the fun thing is uh, you kind of you don't really have to have an agenda playing this game. You kind of just wander and you can just do things. And I think that's probably the coolest thing is like I can just play the game for fun and not have to worry about there's a campaign and stuff. I don't I, but I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to feel like I have a ton of stuff to do or anything. I just know that there's going to be stuff happening. Which is a really cool, cool thing. There's also another game that I'm, I'm going to be playing on the channel that I think is going to be really fun. And I hope you guys enjoy. That is a little bit more um, like story driven and stuff. And I think that's going to be a fun time. Throw the great sword. I'm glad I can still attack. While my great sword has been thrown, because that would be a bit of a <laughs> an issue if I couldn't. What are we doing? Protect the Norn while they search for the dredge leader. Escort Norn adventurers to the back of the Molensk. Hiya. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get XP for that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm sure, that's also the nice thing is you've got thing events like this going through and you just, like, explore the map because of an event. Ah, so you're the boss. Okay, hello, boss boy. Hiya. Well, there we go. We absolutely destroyed him. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, this guy just feels really strong. Molotov cocktail? Interesting. Let's sell our junk, because I know we have plenty of it. <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh, 
I don't know what's happening. Let's check out what our level up stuff is. So we got, oh yeah, if you go down, like you don't, that's also kind of a nice thing is like, it's pretty forgiving if you die. Uh, if you die, you kind of just teleport back to one uh, waypoint that you choose. And I think you just have to repair your armor. Like, let's see here. Every time you die, your armor becomes less durable. Repair your armor and equipment repairs NPC or anvil to keep it in peak condition. Yeah, so you basically just like your armor gets hurt, but that's about it, which is cool. Uh, weapon swapping, swapping at 10. We get the story at 10, which is going to be really fun. And then hero points, which is at 11. What are we doing? What is this event now? Chunks of unrefined dredge ore. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, I'm not going to participate in that because I want to go get this Vista here. And I think that'll be good. And this is uh, also just, well, oh my gosh. Okay, well, uh, I can't walk on a singular pipe. Rip. Let's try this again. <clears throat> so hopefully you guys en have, are enjoying kind of just the quick content and stuff. That's the nice thing about this game is I can just kind of no. Ugh. OK, I should have jumped. Uh, man. OK, this time for sure. Third time's the charm, right? Third time's the charm. Jump, jump over. OK, jump. OK, we've got this. We can make this this connection. Ugh. There we go. Very good. OK, Whew. and view beautiful what a pretty not pretty place but that's also this game is just like, oh, you can walk through these. Thank goodness I didn't. Uh, let's check out our hero. Did we get any like equipment or anything? Also, do my wardrobe things share over on this account? No, it doesn't look. Oh, wait, no, that's wardrobe outfits. Oh, cool. They do. So this one, I think I got because I am. I bought the DLC or something like that. Or maybe everyone just gets it. I don't know. But I had to switch my account over to for some reason it was on Europe and I I so I had to to pay a bit of money to transfer it over, which is fine. I wanted it to be on America. So it's, I'm on an American server and I had leftover gyms and this thing was on sale. And look at this. Isn't this pretty dang epic? This looks so cool. Now, I'm not going to do this for this guy. I'm doing it for my necromancer and I just don't want to wear it. Maybe we'll wear this at some point, but I don't think we need to have it on. Uh, I think I, I want to unlock things with you guys. So is there anything in here that is of value? Not really. Let's look at what what can we do here? Swords, sword, main, hammer, longbow. The axe could be actually quite fun. We haven't gotten an axe. Ooh. Wait, you can do daggers? Strike your foe, leap and strike, daze, strike your target, deals more damage to foes not using skills, and then unleash a fury. All right, we may have to try out daggers. I did not know you could use daggers as a warrior. That's pretty sick. Yeah, we may have to try out daggers. I was pretty sold on this whole greatsword concept, but we may have to try out daggers unless daggers are a an elite specialization thing that i can't get quite yet if that is the case then uh, we won't get it what is this uh, little doodad here ah chunk or i guess we can participate in this uh, event and then that'll probably have to do it because uh we're we're right on the 20 mark oh traveler here take my ore all right so let's gather up some of these chunk or these things and, you know, this MMOs I've found, I think they tend to have a little bit of a monotony to them. But I, I've really kind of been able to get over that for this game. It's not too monotonous or boring uh, when it comes to things. Like, sometimes it, things repeat. You check a lot of bushes for enemies and stuff, but that's not that bad. It's It could be worse. 
Okay, let's give this guy our ore. Take my ore. Enjoy. Alright, so apparently... This is going to take forever. I'm guessing this is going to take forever because there's people on. And uh, generally events take longer when there's a lot of people on that could be contributing. Which is a bit of a pain. Where does this go? Oh, this goes like way up here. All right. Maybe this leads somewhere. That'd be cool. That event's already... I've already participated in it, so I don't really care. Um, I'm not really sure if there's much of anything that this goes to. I guess we could go this way. But I don't think there's anything over here. I don't think there's really much point here. Let's uh, get this guy going just to be a bit speedier. Hmm. Uh, looks like there's not really anything over here. Oh, raptor guy can't fit through. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing there. Just run our way out and get on out of here and kind of call it a day. Well, y'all, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Look here, I found the spirit of the wolf, so that's fun. Um, yeah, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Just chilling, doing a little bit of events and doing a few hearts and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we continue this sort of pace. And hopefully we'll unlock our personal story. I think that'll be a real fun time. Maybe we'll find some daggers. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,